Hi, I hope you're okay and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a H&M haul. As you can see from the title, I'm not going to H&M haul in quite a while. To be honest, there wasn't a lot of stuff that I particularly seen that I wanted, but there was a few bits, so I picked them up. I feel like because I've just booked a holiday, there's more stuff there that I want now, so... Yeah, there may be a part two. I feel like when I was looking, I was sort of just getting like spring stuff and not necessarily summer stuff. And I feel like H&M does always have a lot of like summer basics, nice bikinis and things. So I may have another look and see what else I can get sort of spring, summer, more appropriate. Anyway, I'm going to delve straight in and show you what I picked up. Just for reference, this is from Pretty Little Thing. I get a lot of people asking what I'm always wearing in my video. So this Pretty Little Thing, got it in size medium, very like baggy, oversized and just comfy because I really wanted to be comfy today. So yeah, let's go straight in the bag. Okay, so the first thing I picked up, I didn't actually know if it was a jumpsuit or what when I first seen the picture of it. But when I first seen the picture of this thing, I was like, that is so nice. Then I sort of seen the print and I wasn't too sure because it says love on, which you'll see. But anyway, I thought this could work. So it is basically this denim two-piece. So these are the bottoms. So I just feel like this isn't going to look a lot off the hanger. Like I feel like it will look better on. It was so ironic because when I was looking at this and I purchased it, I then seen a girl that I follow wearing this exact thing. And I was like, oh my god, it does look good. Like I'm so glad I picked it up. Um, so yeah, it isn't going to look a lot off the hanger. It's just like these denim trousers. They're like wide leg. I don't know if they're like, they look like collapse, like short collapse. I'm not too sure on the length or how they're going to come up. So I will try them. I got them in a size 6. They do have a zip as well. But yeah, as you can see, they've just got this like sort of like like love print on which I wasn't too sure of but like from a distance with this on it just looks so nice so that's why I decided to go ahead and get it and then this is what the matching top half is to go with it so it's just a long sleeve kimono it's got a belt which I really like it's also got like are they pockets okay yeah you've got pockets on the side um again it's sort of quite hard to show you what it looks like just like by holding this up so I'm gonna insert a try and clip now but first impression to this I think it could really work and I just like the print and the sort of boldness of it on the denim so yeah I'm gonna insert the try and clip now okay so this is what the two piece looks like together why does nothing ever look good on me as to what it does on someone else like the picture of the girl I saw wearing this honestly looked insane I put it on and I look just like, I don't know, like it just doesn't fit. So as you can sort of see, I firstly just styled it off my shoulders because I felt like when I wore it as a blazer, like the kimono blazer, which it actually supposed to be is, which I will show you how it looks in a second. I just felt like I was wearing my pyjamas. It felt so odd and strange. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I will show it you anyway. Um, but yeah, like the trousers fit really nice, you know. I feel like these on their own are a really nice fit like they fit lovely everywhere they're a size six and they just fit perfect like i have honestly no complaints about the bottom half but the top half like this is an extra small but it's so big obviously with it being like a kimono like style jacket i know that they normally come sort of like an oversized fit but it just feels like really oversized i know i'm not wearing it properly as well but like even with the sleeves i've had to like roll them back because they was like all the way over my hands um so yeah and then i feel like around this area it feels like a bit like sort of puffy and big i don't know i do really love the print i love the style of this two piece but i just don't know if it fits me how i want it to um and yeah i don't really know if it does anything for me but yeah let me know what you guys think i'm going to show you how it actually looks as like a kimono style jacket instead of like off the shoulders which i've obviously styled it as i'm going to show you that now okay yeah, so this is what it looks like with the jacket i feel like it's actually growing on me now like when i first tried it this way i was like no um, but yeah, obviously this fits a lot better. It's more comfy this way. This is how it's actually supposed to fit. So like, obviously when I was wearing it off the shoulders, it wasn't really fitting me right. So I feel a lot more comfier like wearing it like this. And yeah, I do feel like it's growing on me wearing it like this. Um, let me just show you here. Like I feel like this bit is where it's sort of, I don't like it. Like it just sort of flares out a little bit too much. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, but I absolutely love the sort of concept of this. I love the pattern of it, and I just feel like it's something a little bit different. So, yeah, I do overall really like it. Not too sure if I to keep it or not, though. Let me know what you think. Okay, so the next thing I picked up from H&M were a pair of pointed mules. So, I always see these sort of come back in every sort of spring, summer, and I always love them on other people, but never too sure of them on me, mainly because you guys know I like to wear a little bit of a heel. So, I saw these ones on H&M, and they just really caught my eye mainly because they're like black and white and i just love black and white and um, so yeah they're these pointed mules and um, they're black and white sort of like a weft 
here and they just got a really nice heel length on them nice and chunky and it is also like shiny and it feels really good quality to be honest with you i just thought these are really cute and they might even look okay with that jumpsuit actually no i think that jumpsuit is only like a bigger pair of heels but no i just thought these would be really nice if you like spring summer outfits so yeah picked up those okay so the next thing i picked up from h&m was this felted white and black jacket i really wanted a new jacket i feel like now we're coming into spring and summer like the websites are stopping doing as many like nice jackets and stuff and I mean look we live in England and when you live in England you are never guaranteed good weather so it's always nice to have a few new edition jackets in your wardrobe for spring and summer and I just really liked this one to be fair it is quite warm I didn't realise it was going to be like this sort of like I don't know like thick of a fabric um, so yeah not too sure but saying that it is really nice all the same I definitely feel like this would be something more for like the evening anyway um, so yeah it's this white jacket again it's going to be really hard to show you I got this in a size 10 so it's going to be quite oversized I don't think they had any smaller sizes and I really liked it and then it just has all this black piping on like the outside and around the pocket and it's got a tight waist as well I thought this would look really nice with like a black wide leg pair of trousers again for the evening with like a nice pair of heels so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and just try that on and just show you what it looks like because I really can't do a good job of holding this up and showing you. Okay, so I absolutely love this jacket. Oh my gosh, like when I first got it out of the packet, I was like, really? Like it's quite a fleecy thick um, fabric. So I was just thinking to myself, why did I purchase this? Like we're going into spring, summer, is it necessary? But you know what? It fits absolutely lovely. Like it's size 10, so it's a bit of an oversized fit, but I really like that about it. The fabric quality is amazing. It feels so soft and really comfy to wear. I feel like this looks so nice for, say, like going out for drinks, going out for food, but looking nice and smart, but yet still stylish and on trend. I just really like it. And I do think that, okay, although it is like a long sleeve sort of like warmer fabric item, you know what it's like of England. We're never guaranteed sun. We're never guaranteed good weather. And something like this is always good to have in your wardrobe. And I feel like with it being white as well, it's sort of, you know, more spring, summer vibes and something that I would probably wear in autumn, winter. So, yeah, I do really love this. I think it looked really nice with just like a pair of black skinny jeans as well. I've teamed it with wide leg um, just because I like that style this season. But I do equally think it looks stunning with just a pair of like black jeans. Um, sorry, yes, I've styled it with the same bag again. I see a lot of people people moaning that oh my god you style everything in the same bag yes I'm just obsessed with this bag I go to put other bags of things I'm like no no stick to this bag and other people are like put the bag down it's annoying it's doing my head in I'm going to try and limit the amount of things I put with this bag but look if something goes to the bag the bag is staying yeah I really love this outfit Okay, so next thing I picked up from H&M was sort of like basic with a little bit of twist. I always struggle with like just strappy camis. Do you know just those basics that you need in your wardrobe? Like basics for going out, basics for daytime outfits. So yeah, I saw this on H&M. I just thought it was a really nice little twist on a basic because I feel like this would look so nice with like some outfits in the summer, like a nice denim skirt. And equally, it would just look nice with like a wide leg pair of trousers for like evenings as well. So yeah, it's just this plain cami. It's in a ribbed fabric, which I really like. And then just got like all this lace in around the edge of the cami and also on the hem. I really like this. It feels really soft and like good quality. Again, the only concern is the fact that it's just not got adjustable straps, which I didn't actually realise when I ordered this. I got this in an extra small. I'm going to show you how I'd style that. Okay, so this is what the just basic strappy lace frill detailing top looks like. Just a really nice basic that I just think is perfect for like every day, evening, Joe is one of them pieces that you have in your wardrobe that you can just style up so many ways. I always think you can never go wrong with a nice cami. I just love this one because like I said, it has a little bit more extra detailing than a plain cami. It's got the really nice frill detailing around here. Also fell on the bottom of it, but I've tucked it in. And I also just like that it's ribbed as well. Like it's in a really nice ribbed fabric, not just a plain fabric. So I absolutely love this. And gals, there is no issue with the straps either. It's an extra small and it actually fits me on the straps, which I'm so shocked about, unhappy. Um, I've just styled it with the jacket that you'd have seen within this video somewhere and um, it's quite oversized but I really like that it's oversized I'm a very big lover of oversized stuff so yeah I like this oversizedness a bit and it feels incredible um, and then yeah I've just got my black stripey trousers on these are from Pretty Little Thing 
Public side boots as always, and back to my favourite old little bag, which is from Nasty Girl, but Pretty Little Thing also stocked this as well. So yeah, absolutely love this little top. So the next thing I picked up from H&M was just a black jumpsuit. I always feel like H&M do quite nice jumpsuits, um, and yeah, I wanted a new like black jumpsuit. I always feel like you can never go wrong with just a good black simple jumpsuit in your wardrobe so easy to style up it's always on trend um, and I really liked this one because it just had sleeves and I didn't want like a just strappy one so yeah it's this jumpsuit it looks absolutely massive wait what size did I get I got a six oh okay let me just show you it anyway so the top half is just like this sort of like floaty shirt again it's really hard to show um with obviously the collar details so it sort of wraps over the front and it's quite sort of like floaty and like kimono style and then it gathers in at the waist it's got a drawstring and elasticated so it should cinch you in really nice and then it just drops off into a wide leg sort of I think it might be a clot not a full length trouser um I'm going to show you this on again it's just always easy to show it you on and let's see what we think to it Okay, so this jumpsuit I'm seriously in love with. I feel like when I was doing this haul, everything seemed so basic when I was like running through it. And I was like, what did I actually pick out? Like, why did I even pick out all of this stuff? But now I've tried everything on, I sort of see why I did and I understand it a lot more. So I always feel with a black jumpsuit, you can never go wrong. Like, it's just such an essential piece to have in your wardrobe. You can wear it for work, you can wear it day to day, smart casual, more evening. It really is just like a simple, basic piece that you can do so much with styling wise so I'm just going to quickly run you through how I've styled it first of all so I've styled it more like a casual day to day basis so I've put the flats on that you would have seen me feature they're like mules that are pointed I really do like them and I think they actually look okay with this like it is different for me you guys know I'm very much of a heel booty person so to wear like things that are a little bit flatter and yeah like lower with me but I'm gonna roll with them um, and then I've obviously teamed it with a I then teamed it with this belt which is from Primark, thought I'd mix the belts up a little bit because I know I always wear the other one and again I've seen a few people like oh my god you use that belt with everything but it is such a classic belt so anyway I've mixed it up and used this belt also from Primark. I've also just put a black and white striped blazer on, this is from Pretty Little Fee. I just feel that because it is black and quite simple um, it's nice just to put like a nip I feel like because the jumpsuit is so like plain black and simple it's nice just to add like a patterned you know different sort of I feel like just I feel like because the jumpsuit itself is just black and very simple it's then nice to throw in some print with it just to like mix it up and add something to the plain jumpsuit I then teamed it with my Primark bag which I really like this bag I feel like it looks so much more expensive than what it is so yeah this is how I would like rock the whole outfit um, I'm going to just pop the bag down. Okay, so now just talking jumpsuit. So initially when I did try the jumpsuit on, I thought, oh, here we go again. It doesn't fit on the body. The body was way too long. But you guys now have a resolution for that. And it is to simply just fold and roll the jumpsuit upwards and then just tie it with the tie waist and then stick a belt over the top. And honestly, job done. It will fit you perfectly, trust me. So yeah, there was a little issue with that. I have also sort of like rolled this down. Oh God, bra showing. I have like rolled this down to like a bar dough. Um, style it doesn't actually come like this it's not supposed to be worn like this but this is how I wanted to wear it just because I love off the shoulder things you guys know that I really like bardo off the shoulder styles I feel like they're really flattering and I just really like them so yeah I decided to like roll it off and put it like this just because I really like it like this I'm going to show you how the other way and the proper way is to wear it Okay, so this is the jumpsuit done up and how like it is on the website and how you're supposed to wear it. Um, for me, this is just a little bit too, I don't know, like I just wouldn't wear it like this. I feel like if I maybe worked in an office and you know, you want it to be a bit like reserved, covered up and a bit more like office appropriate, then maybe I'd wear it like this because I do think this would be perfect for like an office attire. But I don't know, like on a day to day basis, I just want to wear it like this. I feel like it's a little bit too high. I like to show like a little bit of cleavage. So I do feel like it's quite high. And yeah, I don't know, I just preferred it the other way personally. But yeah, this is how you can wear it as well. Next day I picked up from H&M was just a basic tee. You know I love my basic tees. And um, this one just 
simply says take me to Milano and it's in just like an embroidery detail I always think just white tees with just a really simple graphic or embroidery on are just always really effective they're so nice with a pair of like black jeans or denim jeans so I got this in a size 8 it looks quite a nice size quite boxy and you know not too slim fit I never like my tees to be slim fit I like them to be quite like oversized and then I can like tuck them in with a belt and stuff so yeah I'm gonna show you how I styled that first this is a Take Me To Milano t-shirt which I paired with the high-waisted trousers that you will see I don't know before or after in this video t-shirt and I don't really much to say it's just a plain t-shirt with embroidery on I've not got the right bra on admittedly so if you notice anything looking a bit funny it's because I've got a strapless bra on and I've not actually got a proper bra on um, so yeah really nice just simple too we'll go for absolutely anything okay next up I got a pair of black trousers now I don't actually own a pair of black trousers Do you know like a woven pair of trousers like smart I feel like they can look so sophisticated this is what they look like so they've got a sort of like a little bit of like a paper bag waist, which I really like. They're high waisted. I love the fact as well they've got this sort of wrap around belt. I think that looks really cute. But just simply a really nice pair of tailored trousers. And I just really wanted some of those because, like I said, I just feel that they can look really nice and just different to wearing like a pair of black jeans because I feel like I always wear black jeans. Um, so, for example, I think they'd look really nice with like, say, this Take Me to Milano top and that, and then like a really nice bag. Um, so yeah, I just really wanted a pair because like I said, all I seem to live in is either black jeans, denim jeans or wide leg trousers. So I just wanted a nice slim fit pair of black trousers. Okay, so this is the top and trouser combo. The trousers, I'm not actually too sure. So they're a size 6, which first of all, I actually didn't think I'd be able to get into with H&M because I feel like their sizes can be a bit all over the place sometimes. Sixes actually fit perfect. If anything, there's like room in them and they're a little bit big. Uh, they fit really nicely on the leg. Like I said, they've got a little bit of room so they're not like super tight. But then the length of them is quite weird. They're not like to the floor, like to your ankle trouser length. They're sort of like just above your ankle. Cause I was gonna try and wear those flats that you might've seen in this video with these. But they just didn't go. There was too much room from the trouser length to the flat shoe, so that's why I thought they would look more appropriate with a pair of boots. I don't know what I think. I just they just feel a bit strange. I'm not really used to wearing this much of a high waisted trouser. I think that like they do come really super high waisted. Let me just come in a little bit more. So yeah, this is how high waisted they come. So I've just tied them in a bow. They are really nice. Um, I do think they are quite flattering. Like I said, they do fit really nicely. I'm just not too sure if I like how high-waisted they are because I like a high waist, but I feel like these are very high-waisted trousers. Yeah, I've teamed it with the PLT jacket, Primark bag, a different bag for you guys, and um, Public Desire boots. Okay, so the next one I got, I feel like you're either going to love it or hate it. I always get sent the H&M catalogue, and I love looking through the catalogue because they have a really nice array of pictures and styling in the catalogue, and I feel like you can always see things a little bit better as opposed to the website. And in the catalogue, there's a picture of a lady wearing the these um, trousers. Now, now I'm looking at them, I'm like, why the hell did I get these? But honestly, I said to you, in the catalogue, they looked so nice with how she styled them. They looked so spring, sort of summer appropriate. And yeah, I just don't own anything like this. So I thought I'd take a chance and see if I can rock these. <laughs> they're a raw edge hem at the end and they're slightly distressed as well. So I really like that sort of detailing on them. And they've just got this nice floral embroidery all over them, which yeah, I do really like. And I think start the right way these could look really good okay so this is how the floral embroidery jeans look so i'm just going to go through the styling and what i have chose to style it with first of all so i've just teamed it with some simple black pointy public desire shoes you've probably seen these in a few videos because they're just my go-to favorite they're so simple go with absolutely everything also teamed it with my Primark bag, which I absolutely love. Thought I'd switch it up and use a different bag in this video. So yeah, gone with that one. Also Primark belt as per usual. My white Primark off the shoulder Bardot top, which is a recent purchase in my latest haul video. If you've not watched it, go and watch it because I've got some amazing things. But yeah, I love this in particular. I think it's so spring appropriate and will go with so many things such as these. Um, and then I've simply just got the headband on, which I will feature or will have featured in this video. I'm not too sure whereabouts it comes. Uh, Really like it's just think it sort of adds something different to an outfit and then just these one pound glasses from Primark also so yeah this is how I style up the outfit 
I really like this outfit. I don't actually normally wear skin tight, like sort of skinny jeans anymore. I've been wearing like mom jeans and boyfriend jeans a lot lately. So it's nice to switch it back up and go back to these because I do really like the fit of them. They fit so comfy. They're a size eight. I just feel like they fit perfectly to be honest with you. They're not overly tight, not overly big. Just a really nice fit. So yeah, absolutely love this outfit. The thing I picked up was a headband. I feel like now I've got short hair. I've been loving rocking headbands. Don't know if they suit me or not. I just picked up a plain black knotted one. Okay, that's not how it should look. I don't want to mess my hair up even more. Okay, it doesn't look like that. I'm actually going to try it on with something like this. Um, but yeah, it's just a black twisted one. It is. Oh yeah, no, it is velvet on both sides. So it's just a black knotted velvet twisted one. I see so many people rocking these headbands and they look so stylish. And I feel like now I've got short hair, I can get away with them a little bit more. So, okay, so the last thing I picked up from H&M, I actually don't like this. Um, it looks so much nicer on the website than what it actually is in real life. So I picked up a jumper. It said it was white, but this is cream. So it's just this jumper with Malibu, California. You know I like my oversized jumpers. When I'm at home or when I'm having down days, I love nothing more than an oversized comfy jumper and just like a pair of leggings just to relax and chill in. Honestly, there's nothing more comfy than just big jumpers and leggings. I love them. So I wanted another jumper and I wanted a different colour. I feel like I wear a lot of grey with my jumpers or black. Um, and I really wanted a nice white one, but this is not white, this is cream. And the quality of this is just crap. Like, it's so thin. Like, with this, it's, like, such a nice loop back and soft. Whereas this, it is so thin. Like, it's just so... It just... Yeah, it's just crap. It's so thin. It's... I keep saying it's so thin. That's all I keep saying. It's just so thin, guys. Like, this jumper is just so thin. Like, it's not even a jumper. Like, inside, it feels really crap as well. It feels really hard. I'm not impressed with that at all. That quality is just crap. And, yeah... I just don't like the fact it's cream. It's like a real horrible off-white. And what is this on the sleeves? I didn't even see this. It's like palm trees on the sleeves. No, don't like that at all. So yeah, that brings us to the end of this H&M haul. I do hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you are new here. And I shall see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.